This is Twit. Google was uh, sued by the Department of Justice, uh, lost. The judge ruled against them in August, saying Google illegally monopolized the search market. Uh, and now it's up to the judge to decide on what remedies uh, he will he will rule on that. Judge Ahmet Mehta will rule on that in the next. Uh, when, when is it, uh, Alex? It's a couple of months away, I think. Yeah, a couple of months away. I'm just going through my personal notes of the actual. Um, uh, yeah, the, so the DOJ will file revised proposed final judgment on March 7th. OK, so expect a lot of back and forth between now and then. So the DOJ is at this point lobbying, in effect, the judge saying, well, your honor, what you what Google really should do and, and coming up with remedies. And of course, the judge will pick some and so forth. Some say this is just a negotiation to kind of head towards a consent decree between Google and the DOJ. The clock is ticking, I have to say, although it's unknown whether the new administration will be pro Google or anti Google. It could go it could go both ways. So. Uh, so far, the DOJ has come up with the most controversial proposal of all, saying Google should be forced to sell Chrome. Oh, and while you're at it, Android. Okay, Alex. <laughs> okay, so the so <laughs> what do you just, think? Just Bloomberg says Chrome's worth twenty billion dollars. I don't think Chrome's worth a penny. But go ahead, tell us what you think. So I just wanted to say on the Android point, the proposed final judgment did say that Chrome should be divested. It gave Android a bit of a pass, but it did say that if Google uh, behaves poorly, then Android then, should then you could sell divest Android. it as well. Okay. So the question then becomes, you know, how much of this do they expect to get, Leo? And I do think this is a bargaining position. Yeah. I don't think Chrome's going to get divested because I think you're dead on. It doesn't have any value outside of being a search delivery and advertising delivery mechanism for Well, Google. that's that's the thing. I mean, I think the DOJ is saying let's cut off their legs by uh but every remedy they propose is worse for everybody else. For instance, saying don't pay Apple 20 billion dollars a year anymore. So we, I, I talked to um, JP Schmetz from Brave. Brave has their own browser and also their own search engine. Based I, on I, Chromium. Well, I mean, what are you going to do? <laughs> well, that's part of my part of my question is, isn't Chrome open source? Can't anybody make a Chrome browser, including Opera, Vivaldi, Brave, Arc, and, and, and Microsoft's Edge, all based on Chrome? Yeah. So well, what I'm, happens if Google sells Chrome? What happens to the open source project? I, it well, doesn't make any sense to me. Do you think the open source project of Chromium dies if Chrome is divested from Google? Yeah. No. Possibly. Well, right now, go ahead, Wesley. You probably know more about this than I do. You cover uh, open source. So the, the the new owner would be responsible for that open source pro program. <laughs> and so yeah, right now it's mostly it, Google em engineers. Not all, right. but mostly Google engineers. Right. And so. The, once again, if it's they need to know if if it's going to be profitable for them, it's depending on what their goals are, what they value. And you mentioned the other browsers that are based off Chromium, including Edge, um, that if if it is sold off, Chromium could could go closed source uh, <gasps> because it does take maintenance to keep it up to date. But but the minute it, uh, but the second before they go closed source, Wesley, doesn't somebody just fork it? In fact, are yes, people forking it right now here's the and problem. saying, here's, here's Chromium the problem with that too? Yeah. The, the fork is going to be all the old stuff Yeah, and they're, they're going to, they're going to do whatever they want, but the number one browser will still be Chrome. And so the, when they diverge in terms of the underlying things and how things work, then the forks themselves will then render pages and not work the way that they are. <laughs> expecting the browser and not only is chromium both based on these other um uh these other browsers but chromium is used for testing a lot of like uh automation platforms that do web testing use chromium under or chrome to test websites yeah for compatibility but, to make so, sure that these are all automated let's say google sells chrome tm whatever that thing is mm -hmm. and chromium is forked Microsoft Edge, still going to be Chromium. Go be on the fork, right? In fact, Google, the only the only uh, hardware that Google's installed by default on, Chrome, the new Chrome would be installed by default on, 
Well, there wouldn't be any because who, well, who depends who buys it, right? Does Microsoft buy it? Then maybe it is the number one browser still because it's Edge. Uh, if Apple buys it, maybe it stays a, a dominant browser because it's Safari. It would be ironic. one person that's going to un un uninstall Chrome as soon as the, it, it's purchased by someone else. I mean, that's not going to happen. The, all of these people so, are trained okay, to so download this, and install Chrome of, already. Yeah. You're, okay. So it's. How did Google get to be dominant? That's actually an interesting. Ah. Yeah, yeah, you're you're all acting like like there wasn't a different time when Chrome wasn't the dominant browser. Right. If it so Explorer first of all used to be. First of all, I'm not sure that this solution, this remedy, is the smartest one. But right. let's set that aside for a second. Um, the problem is not the dominance of Chrome in this specific case, it's the link between Chrome and Google. So even if Chrome stays dominant uh, without the links, the direct links to Google, then you've achieved the thing you wanted to achieve, which is uh, reduce the dominant, you know, the, the uh, uh, synergy between the two, which gives Google more power. And uh, if it doesn't, you know, if it becomes less relevant and somehow after a few years um it's not as powerful as it is today then it gives the opportunity there's a vacuum and it gives the opportunity for another actor to take its place or maybe you have a more fragmented browser market which has its own challenges obviously if you have different rendering engines it's all like we've seen this situation in the past um it is more chaotic for for websites but it's not the end of the world. And again, the goal here is to sever the or to remove the uh, advantage that Google has by also owning Chrome. So all of this that you're discussing is not untrue, but it's in this discussion, it's a little bit besides the point. If you want to reduce Google's power, you have to find ways to do that. If you think Google doesn't have too much power, then, you know, that's fine. They can keep everything they have. But if you think they do, then you have to find ways to get them to collect less data, to have less uh, uh, different levers to influence the way the web works, et cetera, et cetera. And I think maybe uh, forcing them to divest Chrome could lead to that outcome if it's desirable. You have, you have to think about the harm that will cause regular consumers, not just because, well, Chrome right now is being used and all the benefits is going to Google. I think we can agree on that. Um, so they are running Chrome as a lost leader to get this data and this access. If this is sold to another company, another player, their incentive is not to just keep it the way it is. Their incentive is now to find out how they can make that a pros profit center for them. It needs to be worth it for them, which means that they are going to try to monetize that data to other people other than Google. So instead of all the information going to Google, bad, right? It's going to be like highest bidder. How can we make the most use of this data and who can we now sell it to? So it's either they're sell the data or they're going to just find ways to make it uh, Chrome Plus now, uh, in order to like actually have secure browsing or to be able to turn off cookies. Uh, you, the regular Chrome, you could choose how much visibility, but now Chrome Plus is the only one that you can get these options to. So it's just the, the consumer itself could be harmed by the the profit making so, that they'll need to make for, to make this uh, something that they continue. First of all, I think there would be. Uh, solutions to those issues, which y'all are not going to like because you're American and you don't want the government to get involved in anything. The, the first step to my soapbox, Leo. Um, and secondly, uh, those are, are uh, uh, again, kind of uh, besides the point, but what you what can happen there is that Chrome because becomes less strong without the backing of Google. I believe that is one of the outcomes. And so you re-inject a little bit of competition in the browser mar market. I think that is not uh, all, everything you're all saying is true. I'm not saying it's not true. Obviously, you know, I'm, I, but you're only se seeing the downsides of those changes. And there would be some upsides, not the least of which is, fostering competition, which is a basic tenant of, uh, uh, you know, capitalism and a healthy uh, uh, free market. Currently, it's very difficult to compete with Chrome, not because it's Chrome and it's everywhere. We've seen situations where there was one dominant browser before, but because Google is pushing it so much, I, th I think. How do um, I, actually, now that we're talking about it, 
you can understand how the by the tyranny of the default people who use apple products are using safari they're using webkit right. as the engine of safari uh until Microsoft abandoned Internet Explorer, that was dominant because that's what everybody used Windows was using. If, how did Chrome not have, I mean, the only, they have Android. I, are we counting Android in the total installed base? On the, let's, <laughs> that's uh, no idea. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, if we are, then, question, that's, right? then that's certainly yeah. a big, that's, you know, half of the cell phone market in the US and more than half, 80% in the rest of the world. Um, but I, it, I don't understand. So you're selling, what are you selling? You're selling the name and the current code base, and perhaps you're selling the, and the you install can't base. Sell That's an what open, you're saying. The you install can't sell base an open is what you're selling. Project. You can't sell Chromium. How do you sell Chromium? Um, so, no one's talking about Chromium. They're talking about Yeah, but that's the code base. <laughs> So I don't understand. No, you sell the install base. You sell I, the install you're base. You're selling the installed base. You're saying, Okay, so now because you have Chrome on your computer all these now, have Chrome, you're going to keep getting it from, let's say, OpenAI yeah. buys it. For now example. it's going to be OpenAI's Chrome. Yeah. And you just assume, because of the tyranny of the default or inertia in any way, that nobody's going to say, oh, I don't want to use OpenAI Chrome. And we'll, we'll go to Firefox or something. No, I mean, some people will, might say that. We, we Why don't is know Chrome so dominant? Is it better than anything else? It, it was much better. I think yes. it still is. Yeah, uh, sorry, Alex. You... No, no, it was so much better. People forget this. When Chrome came out, yeah. they pitched it as the fastest browser. You I know why Google Chrome... search is dominant because it was better than any other search. So Chrome also, huh? It was better. And then it got worse, much like Google search, which used to be a magic <laughs> yeah. answer service and is yeah. now a way to shove more ads into my life. Um, but I just did a search of the proposed final judgment from the, D uh, from the DOJ in this case. Zero mentions of Chromium. Eight mentions of crumbs, just for reference. Yeah, so I, 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 I almost wonder: Do they know that there that there is a the they source care. code is open? It's not what they're after. <laughs> they're, they're, so, okay, issue. so they're selling the uh, now now that helps Patrick. So they're selling the installed base basically and the name, but also the code. I mean, if they aren't selling the code as well, then they can say, "Oh, yeah, we'll sell Chromium or Chrome to OpenAI." Now we have Chrome two, and you can still get that um that it, it would they would have to be banned from making browsers which means that, that is one of the concerns the code is so, that they could be banned but only for a limited time so that google yeah. would well, 10 years they have, reset. have a browser you have to, again. <laughs> the problem is not that google is making a browser the bro the problem is that google's browser is dominant so if you right. tell them okay you start again from scratch and if you become dominant again we'll address that at that point Hey, thank you for watching this little snippet from our big show, The News Roundtable, This Week in Tech. I'm Leo Laporte. Each week we cover the week's tech news, in-depth analysis, but it's also fun and engaging. You'll find it at twit.tv along with all of our shows. And if you want more, just hit the subscribe button and uh, we'll be sure to bring you a lot more great content. Thanks for listening.